Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da. Habita fillah. The Salaf, the pious predecessors, meaning the first three generations and those who follow them, and who follow them, bi asan ila yawm al-deen. But the Salaf specifically, they defined intelligence in a different way than we, in which we defined intelligence. That they defined intelligence as acting in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Whereas we define intelligence usually by secular knowledge or what we acquire in the dunya or the IQ or how how excellent of a, a position you got in, in your IT profession. But the Salaf defined it as something totally different because they knew that any person with true intellect would be striving for paradise. And any, peop any person with true intellect would have to believe in Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and would realize that if that if we come to realize, if we really reflect, and we really want paradise as our abode, there's no doubt we will be using this dunya in every which way we can in order to attain that success. But instead we have doubts, instead we're weak, and instead we make we value, <clears throat> we make other we have a different scale for valuing intelligence or looking at and determining what is d intelligence. It was reported by Sufyan ibn Ayyina, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that he said, the intelligent person is not one who merely knows what is good and what is bad. The intelligent person is one who when he sees what is good, he follows it. And when he sees what is evil, he shuns it. And this was collected, a narration in Hilya to Awliya. Ahabati fillah, the meaning of this athar is immense. And what it lets us know is that true intelligence has to do with acting upon knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, "Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, "Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, and know that there is no god worthy of worship except Allah." and seek forgiveness for your sins. Here Allah wa ta'ala is, is ordering us with knowledge to know and understand Tawheed, La ilaha illallah, have a miftah al-jannah. This is the key to paradise. And then Allah wa ta'ala is saying that after we gain that knowledge, or a part of gaining that knowledge is then seeking forgiveness for ourselves and for the Mu'mineen. And that seeking forgiveness, Abu is acting upon that Islamic knowledge. It's acting upon Tawheedillah because you're seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not the Imam, not someone in the community, not the Shaykh, not this, not that, but rather your Tawbah and your seeking forgiveness is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tube il Allah, firru il Allah, flee to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have al nafia al nafia is that Islamic knowledge, but of course it's implementing and practicing that. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who practice al nafia that which pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and forgive us of our many sins and the Muslims in general. وصلى الله وسلم
على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم